<laughs> it's not great if you have clammy fingers. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we're going to be checking out the Air Jams. Now this little guy is a musical toy and when I originally saw it online a few years back it was priced at around 20 to 30 pounds which I thought was a bit too expensive for a toy so I gave it a miss. Fast forward to a week ago and I picked one up on Amazon for 15 pounds so I'm going to assume that since this thing was funded on Kickstarter back in 2016 things haven't been going so well for Air Jams. I mean according to the Air Jam website this thing originally retailed for 50 dollars which is about 40 pounds and it's now sitting at two and a half stars on Amazon with 48% one star reviews. Yikes. Silly Secret Santa Gift, waste of money. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Silly Secret Santa Gift, Silly Secret Santa Gift, Silly Secret Santa Gift, Silly Secret Santa Gift. You go. Silly Secret Santa Gift, Silly Secret Santa Gift, Silly Secret Santa Gift. It's impossible. As other reviews have noted, it comes with a flat or near flat battery. Very disappointing Xmas day to get something that doesn't work. Hopefully ours isn't flat because I don't have any replacement batteries. Well prepared. So here is the Air Jams, and as you can tell, it's basically a massive plectrum. So the Air Jams is an app-enabled motion-activated music toy, and you basically use it by mimicking strumming a guitar, and then it makes sounds via the app. It sounds like someone wanted to make a device to make Air Guitar less lame, but somehow accidentally made it even more lame. Judging from reviews online and promotional videos from a few years back, it seems like there was an Android version of the Air Jams app available, but now according to the website, there's only an iOS version, which has an Android user is a bit of a bummer. Weirdly enough, there is still an Android version available on the Amazon App Store, but uh, yeah, it doesn't work. When you download it and try and boot it up, it just gets stuck loading on the startup screen, and that's it. Nothing else happens. So there are two apps available. You've got Air Jams Music and Error OK, which just feels so natural to say, it just rolls off the tongue. So first let's try out Air Jams Music, which I think was the original app designed for this thing. The app doesn't really have much going on. You've got Jam, which is what you use to play this thing. Then you've got Shop, Tutorial and Options. And in the shop, you've got a choice of buying 10 different songs and they're all labeled at 99p, but you can't actually buy them. If you click on them, it'll just preview the track, but nothing else, you, you can't buy them from there. If you, you click on the price, Nothing, nothing happens. It's just a completely redundant page at this point. And then tutorial basically runs you through how to use this thing and it is as simple as you would expect. It's not rocket science, just strum it, strum it some more. It makes sound, woohoo. We're all having fun now, aren't we? Now you don't actually need the air jams to use this thing. You can just use the touch pads and it will play the sounds. You can hit the play button in the middle and it will play the beat for the track. And then you can click that little musical note at the top here to change the song. But we're gonna stick with what we've got at the moment and just try out the air jam. I really hope it has battery because it's gonna suck if it doesn't. I don't know why I'm doing it, but for some reason I'm just naturally moving my fingers like this. So after years of doing air guitar in the shower. The novelty really wears off after about 10 seconds. Instead of picking up your phone to change which part of the song that you want to play, you can just press the button in the middle of the plectrum to change which part you're playing. So let's say I'm tired of being the shredder, I can change it to being the bottom, or maybe I could be the chunk, which funny enough was also my nickname in high school. This one is kind of weird. If you strum once, it plays multiple notes, which I think is completely against the point. That's like half a song. That's actually the sound that plays every single time I enter the room. Whoa, it's the chunk! <laughs> <laughs> it's not great if you have clammy fingers. <laughs> And if for some reason you wanted to play more than one part of a song at the same time, you can hold down one on the phone and then you can strum the other one with the air jam. This is such a great feature. I'm so glad that I'm showing it off right now. What I really want to try out is sound slash FX do the robot. Sounds like they just sampled all those videos of Asimo the robot falling downstairs. Poor little guy. Oh, Spooky Town. My favorite guitar sound, screams. <laughs> that was actually kind of horrific. Can we go back to playing guitar? Those were, those were good times. <laughs> Oh, 
Does it gent? That is the question. Yes, it gents, just badly. Well, I think we've had more than enough of that app. Let's go ahead and try out the Era OK. Now this app has a little bit more going on. You actually have a list of different guitar sounds which you can pick, and each one has its own list of different expressions. For example, this one here has dive bomb, vibrato, and whammy. And then if I just pick another one at random, this one has bottom, mid range, and two end. I have no idea what that means, but I'm sure it's great. And then you can just play around with the different guitar sounds, and then you can use the expressions by strumming and then tilting the air jam. A nice little touch, but not the saving grace I was hoping for. Still a bit rubbish. And then the only other feature on this app is that you can play along with songs on your iTunes or you can use the sample tracks which they supply. <laughs> I think that's enough of you for today. I haven't actually seen anywhere online saying this officially, but I'm going to assume that the Air Jams is basically just a pedometer wrapped in a plectrum shaped frame. And judging from the original designs, which showed the little bit in the middle here strapped to a wrist strap, kind of like a fitness tracker, makes me think that's totally the case. The Air Jams is marketed to all ages. They even use adults in their promotional images and instructional videos. But honestly, I can't imagine anybody over the age of 10 really getting a kick out of this, at least not for more than a few minutes. Even then, if you were getting this for a kid, you're probably better off investing that money into an actual guitar, you know, so it can actually learn a proper skill rather than just shaking a piece of plastic around. Overall, I think Air Jams is a bit of a dud, especially when you consider it at its original retail price of $50. You're really not getting much for your money, especially with the fact they've completely dropped Android support. So if you were thinking of buying this thing and have an Android or you already have this thing and have an Android, you can't use it. Congratulations, you're now a proud owner of an oversized expensive Plectrum. Oh, what a great investment that was. Maybe if you find one online for just £10, maybe it's worth buying just for the giggle but otherwise, if I was you, I would just save my money and completely avoid this thing. It feels cheap, the technology is boring, and the apps are super basic. Overall, the Air Jams is not very good. And with that, I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pika Foop, and Luna on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support. And if you like this video, hit like. If you like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can follow us on our social pages. And if you want to support the channel further, check out the link in the description to our Patreon page. And you can also join us on our Discord server. We'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.